Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sam Rajawi. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa met with the U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mallorcas as part of his official visit to the United States of America. The meeting was attended by Bahrain's ambassador to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Interior for Nationality, Passports, and Residence Affairs, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, in addition to members of the accompanying delegation. The U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security welcomed the visit of the Minister of Interior, noting its importance in strengthening bilateral cooperation within the framework of the close relations between the two countries, expressing his pride in the solid relations that link the two countries together in many fields. He also affirmed that Bahrain is a key partner and ally of the United States in facing security threats and risks on the regional and international levels, pointing to the importance of agreements and memoranda of understanding signed between the two sides. He also expressed keenness of the United States to provide the necessary support and enhance the exchange of expertise between the two countries. For his part, the Minister of the Interior indicated that the reform and democratic approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to promote the values of democracy, tolerance, coexistence and openness had a great impact to enhancing justice reform and the consolidation of security and stability. The Minister further praised the role of the United States in developing the capabilities of the police in combating terrorism, praising the level of security, cooperation and coordination, as well as the exchange of expertise in regards to the strategic partnership and continuous communication facing security challenges. During the meeting, the two sides discussed a number of topics in the areas of combating terrorism and cybersecurity and the ways to enhance security cooperation through the exchange of visits and experiences. The Minister of Interior and the U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security also signed three MOUs between the two ministries aimed at strengthening joint cooperation in combating terrorism, financing, cybersecurity and drone systems. The minister stressed the importance of international cooperation in the field of unmanned aerial vehicle technology in light of the risks posed by them in recent years, pointing out that continued international cooperation is vital in combating cyber attacks and building cyber security capabilities, expressing his aspiration to work more closely with the United States as a world leader in this field. He pointed out that the importance of increasing cooperation with allies and partners around the world against human trafficking, praising the intensification of work with the United States in the areas of training and information exchange. He noted that Bahrain, like the United States, has always been aware of the need for a comprehensive approach to combating terrorism, including effective measures to cut off sources of funding and support, stressing the expansion of cooperation to combat terrorist financing in line with the strategic and security objectives of the two countries. The Minister of Works, Ibrahim bin Hassan al Hawaj, and the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna bin Ahmed al Ramehi, paid a visit to the East Sitra city to inspect the completion of the construction and infrastructure works in East Sitra housing project. During their visit, the two ministers stressed the importance of integrating work and coordinating tasks between the two ministries to implement development projects in the kingdom, especially housing projects, in order to achieve the visions and objectives of the government programs headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The two ministers pointed out that the last phase has seen the implementation of many projects that are in line with the royal directives of building 40,000 housing units and achieving the objective of the government's program, mainly Bahrain's new cities and residential complex projects. The Minister of Works asserted that the ministry has completed the detailed designs, adding that the project will be implemented in two phases. The first phase aims at providing main exits to East Sitra housing project, while the second includes linking the housing project with the road network in southern Bahrain, affirming that East Sitra city is one of the leading housing projects that will contribute to providing housing services to citizens. Meanwhile, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning said the pace of implementation of residential units and plots projects in East Sitra city, in addition to infrastructure works, are being accelerated. She explained that the percentage of completion in the first phase of the project, which includes 1,077 housing units, reached 28% and is expected to be completed during the second half of the year 2023. 
She also pointed out that the general plan of the East Citra City includes the provision of all educational, health, commercial and social services in a concrete translation of the government's vision. The Minister of Foreign Affairs has welcomed the announcement of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union countries of their mutual recognition of digital certificates related to vaccination, examination and recovery from COVID-19, as well as their acceptance of all travelers coming from both sides as of 1st of July 2022. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirmed that the mutual recognition reflects international confidence in the health system in the Kingdom and the measures it has taken to address COVID-19 in accordance with the highest international standards, which are the result of the efforts of Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Ministry explained that the European Commission's approval of the request came after confirming the readiness of the application Be Aware Bahrain and its compliance with the international technical standards approved in proving the validity and safety of official certificates. The European Commissioner for Justice Affairs, Didier Randiers welcomed the accession of the Kingdom of Bahrain and a number of countries to the European Union system that is linked to 75 countries and the European Union mission to the Kingdom of Bahrain praised this step which would facilitate travel procedures as the European Union extended the use of digital COVID-19 certificates until the end of June next year. And the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil bin Abdurrahman al Assoumi, discussed with the Speaker of the Uzbek Senate Taziha Narbayeva, the executive procedures for organizing the first parliamentary summit for Arab and Muslim women parliamentarians in the Uzbek capital, Tashkent. Al Asumi explained that the aim of the summit is to support the empowerment of women parliamentarians in the Arab and Islamic worlds and to enhance the communication with influential Arab and Muslim women parliamentarians in non Arab and non Muslim countries. This came during the meeting of the Speaker of the Arab Parliament with the President of the Senate of Uzbekistan in the Azerbaijani capital, Baku, on the sidelines of their attendance at the first conference of the Parliamentary Network of the Non-Aligned Movement, which was hosted by the Republic of Azerbaijan from June 30th to July the 1st. During the meeting, Al Asumi affirmed the Arab Parliamentary's keenness to strengthen the parliamentary relations with the Republic of Uzbekistan at the parliamentary level and with the Islamic world in general to serve Arab and Islamic issues in various regional and international forums. In this context, the two sides agreed to sign a joint MOU during the coming period in a way that contributes to the institutionalization of relations between the two sides and regulates areas of cooperation and coordination between them on issues of common concern. For her part, the President of the Senate of Uzbekistan affirmed her keenness to strengthen the relations with the Arab Parliament and the joint coordination between the two sides on issues and areas of common concern through the MOU that will be signed between the two sides. The Assistant Under Secretary for Control and Resources at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Abdelaziz Al Ashraf, affirmed the Ministry's keenness to ensure the smooth flow of basic products in the markets and the stability of their prices. The statement came during the inspection campaigns today, which included commercial markets and outlets for the sale of food and main commodities in the various governorates of the Kingdom of Bahrain in continuation of the periodic inspection and control campaigns. Al Ashraf stressed that the results indicate a general stability in the availability of basic commodities and products. With sufficient and abundant food stocks, as traders are keen to provide various types of goods and products from multiple sources, in addition to the continuity of discounts offered by shops from some goods and products to be accessible to all. Bahrain's Hajj mission held a meeting at its headquarters, headed by Deputy Head of the Mission, Dr. Muhammad Tahir al qattan after the completion of the arrival of all members of the mission to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, to review all the preparations of the working committees to serve the Bahraini pilgrims in the holy sites. The meeting touched on the tasks of the committees and their efforts in inspecting buildings of the Bahraini Hajj campaigns to determine their safety and security in the camps in the holy sites. The mission has provided a team that works 24 hours a day to receive Bahraini Hajj campaigns or any of the pilgrims to respond to any inquiries and quickly address any emergency problems as the number of members of the Bahraini Hajj mission includes 70 individuals distributed among 
the various committees. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority will launch the Bahrain Beaches Festival at Bilaj Al Jazair from July 7th to August the 27th. The festival will feature live music acts, children's activities and games, a variety of food trucks and vendors and plenty of photo opportunities. The Minister of Tourism Fatima bin Jafar Asairafi affirmed that the Bahrain Beaches Festival supports the Kingdom of Bahrain's 2022-2026 tourism strategy, which prioritizes marine facades and activities among its key elements, along with business tourism, sports tourism, recreational tourism, medical tourism, and cultural tourism, among others. This festival is part of the rich program of events that the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority has organized throughout the year to attract tourists, visitors, citizens and residents, as well as to leverage Bahraini beaches as key attractions of the kingdom. On the southwest coast of Bahrain, the festival will begin mainly at Bilaj al Jazair, which has been reopened in its new look as one of the most stunning and famous beaches of Bahrain. Additionally, there are several distinctive beaches included in the festival, including Marasi al Bahrain Beach and the Water Garden City Beach. Injaz Bahrain has concluded its company program, organized for high school and university students in the kingdom. The 14th annual National Young Entrepreneurs Competition, held under the sponsorship of Injaz Bahrain Chairperson, her Highness Sheikha Hissa bint Khalifa Al Khalifa, features students from 15 high schools and 10 universities. The company program is Injaz Bahrain's signature curriculum, implemented in high schools and universities to offer students the opportunity to experience the entire life cycle of a startup company and discover all the elements of entrepreneurship under the supervision of mentors that have volunteered from the private sector. Participating students benefit from practical experience and exposure to free market concepts in the likes of governance and capital. Her Highness Sheikh Hassan bin Khalifa Al Khalifa praised the achievements accomplished by Injaz Bahrain as one of the pioneering initiatives to support Bahraini youth and provide them with the necessary tools to launch their careers and become successful entrepreneurs. She said the mission of Injaz Bahrain is to provide the platform to encourage and support the young people to harness their skills, unlock and innovate, to develop a knowledge-based economy through its partnerships and programs. Sheikh Hassan said the flagship company's program has been a huge success this year and it is a testimony to the exceptional work and dedication of the students. We are here today to celebrate Anjaz Bahrain National Company Competition. We are celebrating the win of young entrepreneurs. We are very proud of them. They have managed to create their own student companies. We have a high school track winner and we have, uh, we have a university track winner. We have more than 500 students participating in the program this year and uh, we had to pick winners but they are all winners today and we really congratulate them on their efforts that they have done during this academic year. At the Ministry of Youth and Sports we look at and we focus on identifying talent, we look at mentoring talent, preparing talent and then finally presenting talent to, to the platform to the landscape. The, um, as far as Njaz is concerned we think they're doing a wonderful job, they're doing an amazing job. Um, the talent that we've found today uh, was brilliant. The fact that they worked as a team, we, the fact that they were market ready, market savvy uh, is phenomenal. So a lot of these invest, uh, a lot of these um, products are ready for investment, ready for market and ready for launch. So we're very excited to see what Injaz does next. I'd like to thank Injaz so much. I'd like to thank the British University of Bahrain for their constant support and their constant uh, helping us and training us and giving us these skills as well and I'd like to thank my team first and foremost for all the amazing work that they've done in this journey. Rigahwa Company is a company uh, focusing on recycling coffee grounds. Uh, we are creating charcoal from coffee grounds which is eco-friendly and very efficient. Um, uh, this year we, we won at NJAS the, uh, the um, uh, Product of the Year Award. It was so challenging and, and exciting. What 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 we learned is how to uh, do t t time management and teamwork and um, how we can uh, ignore everything and focus on our goals and achieve them. 
Kebet company is a, is, a, is a company that offers a product, a closet, that is placed in the car trunk. We aim to boost organization and to make daily tasks and errands in the car much easier for all. I've had a wonderful experience with Njaz Bahrain. I've learned much more. I love that we expanded beyond the school curriculum and gained first-hand practical experience.